Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Kristen. Today we are going to be doing a bullet journal plan with me video. I am so excited because it is the month of December and December is always so fun and there's always so many things to plan for and I am just looking forward to it. I slacked off in November and I felt it. It was bad. November was such a bad month for me and it's because I wasn't planning. I did not plan hardly at all and I could feel it. So I am trying out a new journal this month for December. So excited to show you guys this journal. I am absolutely in love with it and it's great. I have nothing but good things to say about it. And the price for this journal is very affordable. You can find it for $10 on Amazon. I will have it linked down below. But more exciting news is that the company Sansil is going to give away two of these journals to my viewers. So I am super excited that two of you guys are going to try this out because I promise it is so wonderful and it is almost the new year. If you guys are like me, the new year I always want to start out fresh and feeling good. So planning is definitely on my top priority so that I can really accomplish the things and the goals that I want to do. So that's why I'm super excited that I have time to show you guys this journal and you guys can buy it or possibly win one for yourselves so you can go ahead and start planning for January. Now is the time. Alright, let's go ahead and jump into the video. Forget sitting at a desk during this planning because I had my fireplace going and my Christmas tree was all lit up. That's where I wanted to sit and be cozy. So this planner is from Sansil and I am so in love with it like I said. This band here, it, it's very stretchy and it lays flat so it's not loose at all which is something that I love. I hate it whenever it's sticking out and just in the way. And then it has these two ribbons so you can keep track of where you're at and it also has a pocket on the inside for, I like to put my stamps or stickers or anything like those in there, even money. Another thing about this planner which I was excited about, the pen test was my most important thing because I can't stand it when journals bleed through. This one did not bleed through, I am happy to report. There's slight ghosting, but honestly, I think every single journal that I've tried has ghosting and that's to be expected. It doesn't even look like it has as much ghosting as my scribbles that matters journal is so I am so so thrilled and happy with how this paper quality is also whenever you have the book wide open the pages all lay flat that is also very important so the thicker paper is 90 GSM acid free dotted paper I love the fact that the dots are very light in color and that the color of the paper is like an off-white there are 120 sheets of paper, so that makes 240 pages for you to plan. It'll last me for quite a while. The size of the journal is 5.25 by 8.25, so it's, it's perfect size for what I use it for. So now let's actually get into the planning part. I wanted to go with Christmas lights and a snowman type theme. I just love snowmen. I really do. And Christmas lights are just so beautiful. I love taking my boys and driving around during December and showing them all the beautiful Christmas lights. I wish I was cool and put Christmas lights up like those other houses do, but I don't. So I have to drive around and look at everybody else's. So for the snowy land area, I use the Tombow marker that just kind of blends things in to kind of use it as a watercolor. And I was worried that these pages would get kind of crinkly or whatever from it, and they didn't. These pages are super... So I was trying out this pen here, this white one, and I pushed it down and it just like dropped all kinds of white all over my page. I'm so upset. I am not a perfectionist at all. I mean, I try to be, I want to be, but it just doesn't work out for me. So yeah, these pens weren't the best idea, but I, luckily it washed right off, so it was fine. <laughs> I did have to come back with my black pen to mark the pot parts where I covered it up with the white, so it worked out in the end. Mm -hmm. 
so I know you guys are dying to know how to enter this giveaway. I will have the link down below. It is going to be an Amazon giveaway, so I am not really doing anything for it. All you got to do is click the link down below and you can enter as many times as you want. What I would love for you guys to do is subscribe to my channel and leave me a comment on what you plan on using the journal for. I do like to add stickers here and there so I brought out my Happy Planner stickers and I'm going to use a couple of those. And by the way, don't mind my big head that keeps getting in the way. I guess it probably wasn't the smartest thing to lay down on the floor and do this planner instead of actually using a desk, but it was so cozy. I mean, did you see that spot? It's just where I wanted to plan, so ignore my big fat head. <laughs> I mean that in good fun. Next is going to be my monthly overview. I love having this just so that I can put appointments and important things that I want to remember. So I use it for those things. So you'll see my cat's big head kind of poking in here and there too. She likes to attack my markers and pins whenever I'm drawing. <laughs> I do not have the best handwriting at all and my lettering is not great, but I still love doing it anyways. The next pages are going to be my habits and my mood tracker. I decided to do my habits a bit different this month. I thought that I would try it out in the shape of the actual month and then mark each day that I accomplish something. So hopefully that will work out well for me. I'll let you guys know whenever I'm done with it. I am ridiculously excited about my mood tracker. I think it turned out so, so cute. I just have my little snowman all tangled up with these lights. And for each day, I am going to color in the light bulb with the matching mood that I had.
If you pay really close attention, you will see while I'm putting the numbers in for my lights that I totally skipped a light bulb. So I ended up having to had, have the day 31 like in the middle somewhere. Oh well. So my next two pages are going to be for my YouTube planning and just writing down any notes. I love having a notes page because whenever I just have random thoughts coming to my mind or just little things that I need to remember, I love to just have a space that I can just write whatever I want to down. And my YouTube is just going to be for planning upcoming videos. So since the YouTube page is pretty plain, I wanted to do something cute for the notes page. So I decided to use or to draw little ornaments hanging off of the lights and putting the words notes inside of those. I thought it turned out super cute. And then I just added a couple of those stickers to just give it a little bit more to the pages. So I wanted to have a gifts page for the month of Christmas because of the month of Christmas, <laughs> the month of December, because you know, you want to keep track of what you spend, what you buy for everybody. Try to keep it even. We actually have a budget that we use. I actually shared the budget last year, so I'll link the video up above if you want to see what we spend on our kids. But I think just having a page that you can write down what you've already bought and just keep track of it all will just make it so much easier to plan out for Christmas. And I just wrote everybody's name out, so I will just add things as I go. I thought the names page looked kind of bare, so I added a few of those Happy Planner stickers to it that I think turned out super cute. So my last pages that I'm going to share with you guys are just the first week that I'm going to be planning in my planner. I actually decided to go ahead and start at November 26th because I didn't have my November planner really going right now. So I wanted to go ahead and start that week earlier because it does end up becoming December. Usually I would probably put this in November, but I was ready to get into the month of December. So that's what I did. So this was pretty simple and I did have a dinner and a YouTube planning week as well and a to-do list. As I was planning, I actually came up with a few other ideas for pages that I will probably end up adding for this month. So I will definitely show you guys how everything turned out by the time the end of the month is here so you can see how everything looks. I am so happy with it though. I think that everything turned out great. I love the Christmas theme and the Christmas colors and just Christmas in general. It's that time of year and I love it. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed it and darn it, go look in the description box and enter that giveaway. Like I said, you can enter as many times as you want. All I ask is that you subscribe to my channel and just leave me a quick comment about what you will use your journal for. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys in the next video.